Good morning. Good morning. In a few minutes, you will see a revolutionary new Suzuki Outboard motor. Today we're unveiling the new Suzuki DF350A, the, the world's largest V6 outboard on the market. An industry first, an engine packed with incredibly innovative technology. Introducing the all new 350 horsepower. Jones, executive editor for Boating World magazine. Just got a chance to check out the DF350A and I was totally impressed. You know, from startup, it's incredibly quiet, like like the, every Suzuki I know. Very little vibration. Uh, we tested it out on the uh, Avalon, 27-foot uh, Avalon with uh, twin 350s. And man, when you jam the throttle, it, it's, it got on a plane like at 2.5 seconds. And I noticed the performance, it, it said uh, 0 to 30 was 4.4 seconds, but when we had six people on board, it, it, uh, it was like 4.6 seconds, so it didn't slow it down having a big load, so obviously it could push a nice big load, and man, that thing, good mid-range mid acceleration, it, uh, nothing not to like, as they say. I think it's a revolutionary, really, uh, for for us. In Spain, there are a um, lot of expectation is waiting this engine. Thank you. I'm Jim Hendricks with Boating Magazine. I was just out on the Suzuki D350A. It offers an incredible amount of torque. We got actually a zero to 30 miles per hour of 8.3 seconds on this Freeman 37, which is a 13,500 pound boat. That's a really good acceleration rate. We also achieved a top speed of 70 miles an hour at 6,200 RPM. At PanoramaNautico.com, we are very excited about the new launch of the DF350A of Suzuki Marine because it's the first motor that has a contratorial propeller system in this segment. It's really nice to see the development of this, of this brand. Good luck. I'm Bonnie Schultz, the managing editor of Southern Boating Magazine in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And I was out on the pontoon, two engines, and it took off. We just flew right out of the water. It was amazing. Quiet and a smooth run. Very nice. Good job. It's pretty rad, huh? For the world, this is a revolution in marine outboard technology. We have overcome some big technical challenge. Uh, the result is an outboard that is different from any other. So our goal is always to build the ultimate four-stroke outboard. Thank you.
want to steer you to rotate. Still, yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Attention we paid to it. We, we, the world out there. It's the Yamamoto San. How yes, is the launch going so far, do you think? Uh, so far, they, I believe they, it's going well and successful. Uh, the, all the people, they, as far as I heard, they impressed very much, especially at the low torque. So they, everybody said, wow, it's easy to play. Brilliant. So that's what we want <laughs> here. That we have now. Everything went well so far. <laughs> and, uh, I see journalists talking about very positive points. Yeah. They are generally a very good engine. Yeah, we are confident that you know after so many testing and development, finally we uh, realize a very good engine. Yeah. <laughs> Can you run the boats there? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, good. Very quiet, very smooth. I was also out on the on the pontoon and uh, with the twin engines, and uh, it's, it was it was very nice, very smooth, very quiet. Fantastic. And which company are you with? Uh, I'm actually magazine just, uh, Southern Boating. Hi, I'm John Sinis. I'm with Sea Star Solutions. I work with all of the engine manufacturers on the sales side. And I think these engines are phenomenal. They're quiet, they're fast, they're beautiful looking. I think they got a home run. I'm Mats Jokobs, I'm from Sweden, and the boat builder Nimbus Boats. And I'm very impressed of the Suzuki engine, the new one. What is most important for me is the dual prop that gives us enormous torque with a single installation. That's my, that's the upside. I am Charles Plutemann, and I'm here with Boats.com. Um, it's our first run of these new 350 Suzuki's and we were out on a Dusky 33. Tremendous hole shot. There was no bow rise at all and those dual props really lift the transom. Um, so outstanding in that regard and a great first impression. I'm Charlie Levine. I'm the editor of fishtrack.com and buoyweather.com and so far today I've been on the 37 Freeman and I just rode the Single power 24, was it Gulf Shores, I believe? Uh, been really impressed with the quiet uh, and power of the 350, especially on the Freeman. Uh, we were up at 70 miles an hour. And at one point we were in the mid 60s, and he just gave a little more fuel, and it just pushed me back in my chair. I mean, just very, very powerful, quiet. I think uh, it's going to be a huge hit for Suzuki. <laughs> So, Piero, first impressions, what do you think? Uh, these engines are amazing. Really, a very, very good experience. A very stable the boat with these engines, and uh, you have power when you need, and uh, are really t uh, taking the curve very, 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 very like it. Uh, really, you don't move at all the boat, it's fantastic. I think it's a very good, uh, would be a very good uh, success, success for Suzuki. Is it? Is something so much in the future, by my opinion? <laughs> and Piero, tell me who you are and who you who you work for. What's your business? Here we go. Piero, I'm the I'm the CEO of Zar Formenti. I'm uh, an Italian boat builder. We are producing uh, inflatable boats, rigid inflatable boats. Ah. 
so for for the Italian market, what are your thoughts on this this bigger engine? Uh, I think this bigger engine is very important, particularly for ribs for our inflatable. Uh, for example, we have a, a the Zara 85 that is for a maximum power of 500, but with the 300 Suzuki, we was taking around 43, 45 knots. I cannot imagine what we would take with this one. <laughs> and it's very important the power you have at the beginning. You can really have a very big power starting, you can, and you pass immediately from zero to 20 miles or 25. Yeah. Ryan Lloyd from the Haines Group in Australia, uh, in the New Zealand market. So I've been out on a couple of boats, the Twin Rig and the uh, pontoon boat so far, and just sensational. Obviously the ultimate outboard, I truly believe it, <laughs> and it's been a uh, great testimony of it now. Next boat is the Cat, with four of them on the back. Yeah, I'm Brady Kay with Pontoon Deck Ball Magazine, and I uh, just got off the uh, Avalon with the uh, twin Suzuki 350s, and uh, uh, very impressed. Uh, I think the torque is probably what uh, impressed me the most. Uh, man, a great hole shot, uh, fires off great. Uh, smooth, very smooth ride and uh, surprisingly quiet, so uh, very impressed so far with uh, what I've seen. Alright, so I'm Edouard Degray from Motorboat Magazine in France and uh, I was just on board the, the South Bay pontoon boat uh, for a first experience with the uh, DF350A and uh, it was quite a good surprise I must say and uh, looking forward to try it on a, on a deep V-Hull to get a bit of a deeper impression, should I say. Hello, I'm Michael Sugimura from Suzuki Motor of America, and I'm so glad that everyone's happy so far. <laughs> Buongiorno, sono Franco Michienzi, sono il direttore della rivista italiana Parche, e abbiamo provato il 33 Open Fisherman con i due da 350 cavalli. Una barca eccezionale, con una risposta incredibile, i motori appena spingi la manetta eh, vanno subito al massimo e eh, si sente proprio una bella coppia, una bella stabilità di rotta e si eh, apprezza moltissimo la velocità massima della barca che è stata superiore alle 50 miglia. Bonjour, Christophe Vassal, Suzuki France. Je suis ici à Miami pour le lancement du nouveau moteur Suzuki DF350A. On a un tas merveilleux, d'excellentes conditions, des merveilleux bateaux à essayer, on a des structures différentes, mono, twin et quadruple installation. Tout se passe bien, les moteurs sont pas bruyants, ils consomment peu et ils sont performants. I'm Alan Went and I chair the innovation awards for NMMA both at IBEX and also at the Miami Boat Show. So we're always looking for innovation. One of the things that tells us, gives us a clue that Suzuki is onto something is they've been quiet for two years. We're used to seeing innovation every year from them. So the new 350 brings to us at least four different items that we have been able to determine as judges that are innovative in this field. We're impressed by the gear case, we're impressed by what you're able to do with a cowling and separating the water from the air to begin with. I think you've always had a hallmark with that. Tested a couple of boats already today. It's very soft on the shift, which is good. Um, we're looking, obviously we want to talk with the engineers a little bit more about the dual injectors because I think that's a breakthrough and then having a 4.4 liter uh, where some of the other competitors are still around 4.0 uh, staying with a 6 as opposed to having to go to 8 to be able to get this power as the industry shifts not only to larger boats that are identifying themselves with outboard power but certainly the pontoon market which is around 24 25 percent market share right now this definitely opens up that marketplace so you've been able to find two areas where you should be able to find some new customers both on the OEM side as certainly on the repower side. My name is uh, Teo Iello and uh, I'm Nuova Jolly General Manager. I have been very impressed about uh, this engine, the new engines, and especially the sound and the torque. So my name is Axel Fischer, I'm from uh, Suzuki Germany and I'm very impressed about the new DF350E. Uh, we have a, a lot of exciting items on that uh, engine like uh, dual prop, dual injection system and uh, acceleration and the maximum speed is unbelievable. I think this is, will be a milestone in the technology in the marine business. Journalist okay. and redacteur en chef de Pneumatic Magazine. Un magazine euh, qui est dédié aux bateaux pneumatiques gonflables euh, et surtout semi-rigides. Euh, 
Voilà, je reviens d'une sortie avec le deux ski 33, qui est une grande coque ouverte, assez lourde quand même, et qui marche bien avec les deux Suzuki 350 chevaux que j'ai trouvé très silencieux, très agréable à bas régime. Et la bonne surprise, surtout, c'est surtout à plein régime, au régime maximal, deux moteurs qui ont une sonorité assez agréable, assez attractive, ce qui n'était pas le cas jusqu'à présent de nombreux Suzuki, notamment des 300 qui sont pourtant qui ont le même bloc moteur, mais qui, sont, qui ont un bruit assez anonyme, assez, assez terne à haut régime. Là, on a un, une sonorité qui participe au plaisir de pilotage. Donc, moi, c'est ma première impression, c'est ça, avec des moteurs qui, qui sont assez réactifs et, me semble-t-il, capables de bien propulser cette grosse coque. Hey, Mike Caruso with the Fisherman Magazine uh, up in the Northeast. Uh, first time out on the new Suzuki 350s and um, very impressed. Uh, these engines are powerful, they're quiet. Uh, but I think uh, one of the most impressive aspects was uh, with the counter-rotating propellers, the, uh, the amount of kind of bite they have in the water. You can really feel it. Uh, I feel like you have a bit more control. I, I, I'd have to believe that it aids in the efficiency of the engines. Um, so, you know, really excited to uh, learn more, get a bit more experience. But first impressions, thumbs up. Hi, I'm Graham Dixon, New Zealand Fishing News. Really impressed with the new Suzuki's. I wasn't quite sure what to expect, and certainly gone above all expectations. Great bit of kit, can't wait to play with it in our home waters. My name's Craig Ritchie, I'm a freelance writer based in Toronto, and as part of my job I get to drive a lot of different boats and a lot of different engines. And I have to say the D350 from Suzuki has an astronomical amount of torque. Uh, and it's really quite surprising for an engine that's so smooth and so quiet. Uh, that it has that level of acceleration and uh, that kind of uh, get up and go right out of the gate. My name is Dave with Anchorage Suzuki Marine. Killer product, boys. Keep up the good work. My name is Andrew with uh, Anchorage Yamaha Suzuki Marine. We're trying out these new Suzuki 350s. Incredible. 70 mile an hour. Rough seas. It's awesome. I think the eight props makes a massive difference. So 1,400 horsepower is sensational. So one of the best experiences I've had on a boat. So absolutely the ultimate outboard. And times four, even better. I've just been out on this uh, boat here with the quad rig. And uh, my goodness me, what an amazing piece of equipment this is. Uh, absolutely awesome. Fantastic.